Han Philip Leung, I'm the managing director of Weijip, which produced the famous camel brand vacuum flasks. I've been running this factory for over 45 years. I enjoyed it fully. My name is Raymond Leung. I'll be in charge of the redevelopment of new products of Camel in the future. My great-grandfather used to run an importing business in Penang. My grandfather joined him at a young age and they used to travel between Hong Kong and Penang. In those days, vacuum flasks were in high demand. Soon after, my father decided to manufacture vacuum flasks himself. It was difficult. There were glass factories in Hong Kong. They made many glass parts, but not parts for vacuum flasks. To begin with, they had nothing. After much legwork, they finally built a vacuum flask production line in the late 1930s. Wei Yit and Camel were born. They had six months of production before the Japanese invaded Hong Kong. They lost everything during the war. My father chose Camel as the brand name because he needed fighting spirit and enduring spirit to develop the company. And Camel is a very enduring animal. After the war, in 1945, they resumed production again. In 1947, my granddad invented the groove feature on the outer casing. The casing had one horizontal groove with many vertical grooves. Model 147, their first post-war model in the market. These grooves add stiffness, make the flask more beautiful. This basic shape has translated into many other products. In 1950, we were prompted to start stainless steel production. We found a machinist to build double-action hydraulic press, which we now use in the production of stainless steel products. Weiyit would gradually add departments as need and technology changed. Eventually, it became too difficult logistically to transport parts between premises. In 1954, we built our first integrated factory. This was Camel House. In the following 30 years, Camel House gave us good business, designing many, many good products for the company. I had been on several trade missions to Sweden, Germany, the UK, Switzerland. We established new markets in the United States and Australia, and all the Southeast Asia, including Malaysia, Singapore, Thailand, in 1981, we bought a piece of land in Kowloon Bay on which we built our second integrated factory. As soon as this happened, Margaret Fletcher announced that Hong Kong would be handed back to China in 1997. This caused great uncertainty. Our family had a choice of either staying put or going to England. But we stayed in Hong Kong because we wished to realize the dream of completing the factory. We finally moved into New Camel House in 1986. The design philosophy of Camel is a very pragmatic one. First of all, there must be a market. The market would usually have a problem. A problem awaiting to be solved with a product. We create that product and solve that problem through design. My philosophy is to utilize existing tools in a very resourceful and innovative manner. We're moving our factory to smaller premises. With smaller premises comes greater constraints. But perseverance has always been Camo's ethos. Limitations have pushed us to create better solutions. They have made us more efficient and creative. We are employing newer, cleaner technology so our products are greener. We are going to combine new materials and techniques with our old industrial know-hows, placing more emphasis on the small production of well-designed innovative goods. Camel 
Sumo has always been manufactured here in Hong Kong, and we always will. We believe in Hong Kong. We believe in Hong Kong industry. We want to carry our Tamil spirit forward. We want to move with the times and make sure that it survives in this modern age. It is a new horizon for us. We are the only one left in Hong Kong manufacturing vacuum flasks. Why yet? The only one. We have lived up to our name.